Yo, what is up everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up OBS Replay Buffer. And basically what OBS Replay Buffer is, it's kind of like GeForce Experience without the actual overlay running over your game. So it will give you more performance using OBS Replay Buffer. The only drawback of using OBS Replay Buffer is that once you press your keybind and clip a clip, the next clip will start off as five minutes or however long you, you had it. Or the replay buffer if you clip a clip in fortnite for example that is five minutes long geforce experience it will reset it to zero the next time you clip so if 30 seconds pass by it'll be a 30 second clip right after the five minute clip but in terms of obs replay buffer it's not going to do that it doesn't start off from zero so it just clips it the entirety of the five minutes that came up that's the only drawback really but if you have like really short clips then it really doesn't matter so without further ado let's get right into it I'm gonna head over to the settings on the right, right here. And you wanna go over to output and make sure this is set to advanced. And then we're gonna head over to replay buffer tab, check enable replay buffer and maximum replay time. This is how long you want the actual clips to be. And obviously if you use more time, it's gonna use more of your memory. Most of you 30 seconds should be fine. But again, this is just personal preference. Again, if you use more, it's gonna use more RAM. So press apply and that's that. Now recording, it's basically going to use all these settings in the recording tab as the actual output settings. So you want to make sure you're on an MP4 for recording format and you could change the recording path where it saves the clips by pressing browse right here. But I'm going to scroll down, rate control, C CBR. And bitrate, this is what I didn't mention in my last video on OBS Replay Buffer, and I really want to mention it in this video. Bitrate highly depends on how big you want the clips to be. So GeForce Experience, I'm, I know, I'm pretty sure that the default bitrate is 50 megabytes per second. That's basically just 50,000 in OBS. So as you can see, I have it set to 50,000. You could go lower and it'll make the clip smaller, but it might not look as smooth. You can test around with that. If GeForce Experience worked perfectly fine for you, I just transfer over the bitrate to this. And I mean, pretty much all the rest of these are pretty much fine. You can just, just copy what I have. And you just press apply right here. Now video, this is really important because if you're gonna downscale, so for example, what downscaling means is the base resolution is your native resolution or whatever you have your monitor set to. And then the output, would be like 720p that downscaled. You wanna make sure this is set to LAN. I don't know how to say this, but you wanna say it to the sharpen scaling 36 samples, which is the last option. And it'll make it look better. But again, guys, if you're gonna downscale or upscale, it's gonna use more resources. So the best way to really have a stable frame rate while also having this enabled is just keep your base resolution and output resolution the same. And if you're on stress res, same thing applies just make sure the base is the same as your output and make sure this is set to 60 fps and then we're going to press apply now hotkeys is really important this is how you actually save the clips so save replay this is where you want to press a button on your keyboard that you want to use to save a clip so for example you want to use f12 you press f12 and then you press apply so now we're going to head over to advanced and you just want to uncheck enable browser source hardware acceleration just a little tweak within OBS. I'm gonna press apply. It's okay. All right. And now basically you'd open up your game. So, so you basically just right click on the sources right here. You want to press add, and you just want it to like game capture. And you can name it whatever. And press okay. And you usually would have the game opened, and you select capture specific window, and you just choose the game itself. Now, I obviously don't have a game open, so that's pretty much why. So you select the game or whatever, you press OK, and it should pop up on your preview right here. And once it pops up and you make sure it's on the right resolution and it's filling up the whole preview section, you want to right click and you want to uncheck enable preview. And that is because the preview does, in fact, add latency. So disabling it will give you a lot more performance. So. That's pretty much it for replay buffer. Now, all you have to do is just press start replay buffer right here and you can just minimize OBS and play your game. And every time you want to clip, you press F12 or whatever keybind you used. Now, if you want it to 
automatically open up and start replay buffer whenever you open up your pc there is a way to do this so you want to open up your task manager you want to right click on the obs you want to click open file location and you want to create a shortcut and in the shortcut right click on it and click properties and i'll leave the command that we're going to be using for the shortcut in the description just copy this and we're going to be pasting it in here so you just want to click right here press paste control v and it'll throw in the three commands that i left in the description so one of them obviously starts up the replay buffer whenever it starts up obs the second one minimizes it to the tray which is basically the bottom right on your taskbar and the third one just disables the update checker so you want to press apply you want to press ok and you want to press you want to right click on the shortcut itself and you want to click cut and you want to click windows key and r type show colon start up press ok and you just want to press Control v so whenever i open up my pc now obs is going to start and it's going to start up replay buffer yeah that is pretty much it on obs replay buffer and how to set it up i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe comment down below if this helped you or if geforce experience in your opinion is better I know a lot of people will prefer GeForce Experience more than this, but some people that want to get go the extra mile and get a little bit more performance will like this as well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.